Hi right, guys, hope everyone's well. Uh, as the title says, given, uh, well, they leave us say, given Ford a uh, benefit of the doubt, or Evans Hall Show. Uh, so basically, I complained and complained heavily to the idiot that sold me the van. Um, and he's basically been back to his boss on Monday. It's Tuesday now, by the way. Uh, been to his boss and said, like, these issues have come, of, uh, have come up. Uh, he's not happy. Um, he either wants some sorting or he's getting a refund. Uh, bear in mind, I've made sure everything that has been said to me has been put in an email because I want everything as a paper trail. Um, taking pictures of every uh, the van of everything and the mileage and all that lot because they say it's seven days or 250 miles guarantee. Take mon take it back, money back guarantee. Anyway, so the conversation Monday went okay. Spoke to my boss. He's happy to have the service done in house and uh, ply lining and then look at the other issues of the van that you are having. So, one is this side door handle. Any sort of, any trying to pull it closed when there's a bit of resistance, the handle's weak. I asked him in an email to sort any handles out because it's a known fault. Um, I do understand before anybody has a go at me, it is a used van. Um, but when you've asked in an email, to check these things out because they are known faults and recalls. And he says everything's fine. I assume he's checked it, clearly not. Uh, the pull-in to the left, uh, there's a strange noise. Now, I'm not a mechanic, I don't know. But I just wanna make sure it's not the, the turbos or anything like that. Although, today I noticed doing more than 30 miles an hour, it shakes like shit on the steering wheel, so the balancing is out. Um, and the tires are going down i'm damn sure of it so the front tire is definitely changing and i won't take no for an answer um so the conversation on wednesday went he's done doing all that we're going to have a look at the tires when they come in now i'm sure he's just going to turn around and say well they're legal so i'm not changing them but they are if, if anybody's had tires changed in the in the grooves of the tire there's like little wear indicators and they are literally a mill above that wear indicator so they are technically legal but when you spend so much money on a van or a vehicle you'd like to think you'd get at least a year's worth of motoring out the tires surely um so that was my conversation oh sorry he went uh, he then went uh, went um and said that the person that went was meant to do my van went off or is no longer uh, it doesn't work it's not working anymore whether that means he's got covid or is whatever i don't know i don't really care um and but it's the person that's taken over from him that clearly hadn't done it. Personally, it, I've been in retail, I've done all different types of job, and every time I was sent to do a job, there was always someone checking up. It didn't have to have a clipboard, didn't have a paperwork or anything like that. Not every time, I suppose. 98% of the time, somebody went and checked. You know, it's just like, you don't do a job and say, yeah, it's done. And then somebody just leave and just take your word for it, right? So, personally, this is only my opinion about Evans Holshaw. It's a failure of management, purely for the fact that if somebody sells a car, so say Evan Holshaw sells a car or a van, there should be a checklist somewhere. And each individual person, so say if they got five people, uh, a salesman, a, uh, a valitor, a mechanic, uh, and then just general porter. I don't know if they have somebody whipping them between each one or whatever, I don't care. Each one of them people should have a checklist. And then once they've ticked everything off, you have done that tick, you have done that tick. Somebody then, that piece of paper should then be handed to somebody else, right? And then now and again, not every time, because I doubt the management would have that much time to do it, just spot check them, I'm sure. And then at the end of that line, there should be somebody else that signs it off to say, right, okay, I'm happy that the work's been done, it's completed, it's fine, send it out, right? The fact that he has turned around and said, obviously he hasn't done it right says to me there are no checks so in theory if if that happens if there's no checks anything like that surely well magic look at the reviews it says it all really if you look at them i did leave a link in the last video it says it all that people going around bald flat tires and all sorts so why am i surprised <laughs> Anyway, so that was Monday yesterday at like about 10 o'clock in the morning. It is now only Tuesday. 
I'm not going to get wound up about it or anything like that because that's what was pissing me off. I was just getting irritated. I, was just, I felt like I'd been shafted up the arse, basically. I've been taken for a ride. Um, and I want having it. And I'm definitely sticking to my guns. So I've left it in his hands to get back to me. And it was Monday. So I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. I'll give him till 2, two o'clock Tuesday. Um, so many, why is it people look at you weird? Hang on. Jesus. It's only been a split second for you guys, but took him almost five minutes to get into the car. They come up here staring at me funny. Anyway, so I'm giving them till, uh, well, I am going to, personally, I'm going to give them till two o'clock on Thursday. Um, and then once that comes, I'm going to send them a nice email saying if I've not heard anything by the end of today, uh, which he told me he leaves at six, um, the van, I'll be delivering the van back to you. Uh, and I will expect a full refund by the end of the working day. Now they'll have to, and I'll ask for obviously uh, regional managers or the, whoever is the biggest guy uh, in charge, um, and let them know why, or let them aware why they've lost 14 grand's worth of money for being stupid and incompetent. Um, I am actually hoping <laughs> that someone spotted the past video. Um, and that's the reason why he phoned me Monday and it looks like he's going to be bending over backwards. But what time will tell on it. You can only give people the benefit of the doubt. A lot of you guys, thank you anyway. It, you know, I was just thinking, am I being really picky? Am I expecting too much? But virtually, well, pretty, well everybody literally just turned around and said I'd send it back. <laughs> you know, just what can you say about it? You know, they're taking the piss. You know, the thing that hurt me the most realistically was the fact that I'd gone to a main dealer expecting decent service and I just felt like I was being robbed. There we go. So that's my update on that. Um, I've given them the benefit of the doubt. They phoned me Monday, seemingly to be doing everything that they should be. I've yet to hear back. I know it's only a day later, but it's still, it's virtually the end of the day later. So it's, you know, definitely more than a full 24 hours. Um, he's not contacted me about a hire van or anything like that. So we'll see. Onwards and upwards, eh? See you guys on the next one.